Hi, I'm Nathaniel Cruz, and this is my life. Well, part of it. I'm going for my bachelor's degree in the graphic media and design major, and I'm in my sophomore year. As I get into talking about myself, I want to say in advance, sorry. I was born in Harlem, New York, where I lived majority of my life with my mom and dad. My parents are not together, but we'll get into that later. I have an older sister who is 24, I think, and a little sister who's 10. I love my older sister, but she's an adult and also living her own life. She lives in Boston with her boyfriend and some friends. I keep in touch with her here and there, but like I said, she's an adult. Anyway, my little sister and I have a great bond. She's like my world when I go home. We spend time together, watch wrestling, and just have a great time when we're together. I love her so much, I would do anything for her. Alright, now that you know the basics, it's about to get real. My mom and dad had a separation in late 2013. It's been over six years, and would something like a separation affect a person in the long run? Sure, I'm not denying that. However, there are more important things to worry about, like my classes, people in my life, and also the rest of my family. The separation was really hard for me, though. I ended up going through a lot of emotions and feelings I never felt before. I probably would have been okay if this asshole didn't show up into my life. But I hate censorship. My stepdad, yeah, he's been a crucial part of my life. He is definitely an interesting character. The way he deals with his problems isn't the right way at all, but to be honest, I'm glad I had the experience. Would I prefer to not see that image in my head? Yeah. But with him in my life, I don't think my confidence would have went up. Yeah, he's a piece of crap. But after dealing with it for almost six years, I'm kind of glad I did. And with all those emotions, I definitely blew up at some point. But then I figured out other alternatives of how to deal with them. I went to two high schools. St. George Academy, which is a Catholic school on the Lower East Side of Manhattan and the High School of Arts and Technology, which is in Midtown Manhattan on the west side. Not saying I didn't like all of St. George Academy. I mean, I have two friends I still talk to from my first year there, but it definitely wasn't for me. I ended up going to the High School of Arts and Technology and had an amazing time there. Sure, there was high school drama, relationships, and all that other stuff, but without a big high school experience, I felt isolated. A group of seven people and I still keep in touch to this day. One of those got me out of my show. I did fashion shows, talent shows, and was even an instructor of the Glee Club for our school. With all of this done, my confidence grew and these people empowered me more than they know they did. I will love them for that, because without them, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be here right now. And where am I now? Now here, I stand on my own two feet walking Alfred State College. I mean, yeah, it might not be the most convenient college on the planet, like not having a McDonald's within walking distance or having a bodega that doesn't make hot sandwiches. But I love the people and professors as a whole. The friends I've made here are amazing, and it's always 100% for them and vice versa. And not only did I gain friends, I gained brothers. In fall 2018, I pledged the House of Pyro Zeta. Yeah, some people think that being in a frat is just something to be a part of. But my brothers and I have a bond that I wouldn't replace for anything. They're always there for me, like I'd always be there for them. They're always there for me, like I'd always be there for them. And I wouldn't want to change that for anything. And that's pretty much it. I'm glad you got to know a little bit more about me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, if there's anything you got from this little video, I hope it's this. Don't let the bad get in your way. Make your way through it for a better outcome, because life only gets worse if you let it.